Good morning. So this morning I'm going to start off by sharing a short story. Uh, years ago there was a village that got overtook by an army. And uh, this army put all the men and boys in a prison in the middle of the village. And uh, the conditions were really terrible. The, uh, they didn't have any good food. The water was terrible. They were getting sick and dying from it. Uh, and uh, they had no, no bedding, no blankets. They just had stones to sleep on. And so this one philanthropist came along and wanted to help these people. And uh, he talked with the guards and whoever else he needed to talk to and said, hey, you know, is there a way we can get clean water? And they granted him the wish. They got him clean water. So now they had clean water to bathe in and drink and so forth. And uh, second guy came along and, man, this condition of this food is terrible. You know, how can we help these people have a good, clean food so they can be nourished? And he had a big farm, and so he got him convinced to allow them, him to provide food for these people, for the prisoners. And uh, so they had good food and and clean water, but they were still in prison. And the third one came along and was like, you know, how can I provide them with uh, pillows and bedding so they can all have a good night's rest? And uh, he talked with the guards and he got his wish granted that he could provide them with all the bedding and everything they, ne they needed. So now they had a, um, they had clean water, they had good food, they had good night's rest, so they were in good condition, but they were still in prison. And the fourth guy came along, and uh, he was like, you know, what can we do to free these people? And so he found the keys, and one night he let them all out. Uh, and, th and so they were free. You know, and so which one of these guys helped him the most? The one that gave him clean water, food, bedding, or the one that freed them from the prison. And the, the, I guess sort of the moral of the story is, is, you know, at the end of the day, we can help people, but God frees us. And that's the, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's also a, an, a um, shows a little bit of the difference between mercy and justice. God brings justice to, to everything out there, although we can help to that maybe potentially, but ultimately it's, his, it's all in his hands. So this, it's an interesting story, or for me it was interesting to illustrate the different, you know, if, if you can help, you can help people make their lives better, but at the end of the day, God brings justice. I'm going to read Luke 10, 25 to 37, if you all want to follow along. Actually, that's a different version. I'm going to read it in the King James Version, King James, New King James Version. Luke 10, 25. So the parable of the Good Samaritan. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? He answered and said, He answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, your, and your neighbor as yourself. And he, had, and he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, but he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down the road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. 
Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the, at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on the oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii and, give them, and gave them to the innkeeper and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was the neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. So in that, in that story, Jesus illustrates, you know, it's important for us to take care of our neighbors and to show mercy. And I think that's, that's really important in the small things as well as any, any large thing that we do. So hope that uh, inspires you all and I'll give the time over to the brother. morning and welcome to the service uh, everyone this morning uh, thank you brother Leon for the devotional um, story of the Good Samaritan and, and it's a good example for us on how we should live with many people around us um, that not only need physical things but also Jesus in their lives as well and that we can be there for them it's time for dismiss for Sunday school classes we want to welcome the visitors to join in with the classes as well we'll start with dismissing the preschool primary junior and the intermediate Today it's the adults class group, turn, uh, group two's turn for the verse and the adults can be dismissed. 